4.22 in the morning. I've been up since 3 o'clock. Just because I'm excited to get out there today, we're going to the Lost Mine Trail, a location that I've been to before that has some really great sunrise views. There's a lot of sporadic cloud cover right now, so I'm anticipating this one to be a good one. No promises. But we got about an hour drive out to the trailhead and then like a 25 minute hike. So let's get out there. So we've just made it and I think we're a lot earlier than we anticipated. It was a little nerve wracking walking up here when you see a sign warning you about the mountain lions and the black bears that are in the area. But we're at our spot. It's completely dark. Just waiting for the light to come up, but saw a cool scene of the moon breaking past some clouds past a mountain ridge so that was that was unique for now though we're just going to hang out make sure that there's nothing sneaking up on us and waiting for the sun to to pop up see you shortly After descending down the Lost Mine Trail, we refueled with hot coffee, a full breakfast, and loaded up our hiking gear to scout a location for the evening sunset in the Chisos Basin. So it's currently 3.37 in the afternoon. It's been quite a few hours and a lot of miles walked since I've last spoke to you this, this morning. All day we've been hiking around trying to find a good composition for this evening sunset shot. And I think we finally found two spots that are gonna work really well. Now what I was going for was a location that would have an interesting foreground followed by this beautiful rock wall titled Casa Grande in the background here. And I'm hoping that the sun will start to fall down in the horizon and cast a really nice orange yellow hue on this, this mesa here. So I found two different spots here of locations where I think might work. It's just gonna be a matter of watching how the light interacts with the mountains here. And there are a decent amount of cloud cover currently. So we'll see how all that comes into play over the next, I would say, hour and a half here. So I'm going to show you a quick teaser here of the composition that I have lined up, and I think I'm very happy with how it's going to turn out. We are still relying on the cloud cover to remain here. I don't want it to move off too much. But just to let you know how unprepared this day has been, the original plan 
was to drive out to the Chisos Basin, hike around for a few hours, go back to our Airbnb, pack up dinner, pack up food, grab my big tripod, grab another lens, grab more batteries that I have. So I'm currently relying on two batteries, one of which is 40% remaining. We didn't end up going back, so we don't have any of that stuff. That's just, I guess, my mode of operandi for photography is run and gun. So you're not gonna see a whole lot of video from my camera because I'm preserving the battery, but you will see some GoPro footage, of course. But again, we're just still waiting and the nice cool breeze is, is feeling good at this point in the day. I also don't have my shutter release cable. So I'm gonna rely on some steady hands for my bracketed shots. <sighs> you can see in the background Casa Grande is starting to get some softer light casted onto its walls, but the cloud cover is remaining pretty thick. As I look off a little bit more to the to the west, it seems to be breaking up, but there's still a thick layer. So I'm keeping an eye on it. There's not much you can do, of course, but still a beautiful view. I think the light has, has started to pass, but given my composition, we got some nice color in the open spot on the right-hand corner of my image that really works well with the placement of the Casa Grande itself with this light illuminating cloud. So I'm pretty happy with that. I know it wasn't the ideal cloud cover that I was hoping for, or something with the angle of the light catching the clouds where we're at, because it was booming all of all around us but i'm very happy with with this moment here and i'm excited to see it on my computer A staple on any photographer's bucket list to Big Bend is to capture the panoramic views of the window trail. Overlooking the Oak Creek Canyon, the window frames an opening to a stunning desert vista. We were lucky enough to witness a close encounter between the moon and Mars, shining bright in the desert sky. <laughs> 